You are among the biggest losers in this year's budget following an increase of value-added tax on petroleum products from 8% to 16%, which is likely to impact the price of goods and services. National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Professor Njuguna Ndungu has also introduced two new tax bans with those earning half a million shillings to be taxed at 32%, while those earning 800,000 shillings will be taxed at a 35%. Tax bans have been increased from the current upper band of 30% to a high of 35% to net more tax. Those earning between half a million shillings to 800,000 shillings will be taxed at 32%, while those earning above 800,000 shillings will be charged at 35%. In addition, some of those who are income tax exempt have been brought back into the tax bracket after the government taxed the Kenya Revenue Authority to collect 2.57 trillion shillings. At the start of this journey, I propose to the National Assembly to introduce two additional tax bans. A fourth band will be applicable to employees earning incomes between 500,000 per month to Kenya shillings 800,000 per month at the rate of 32.5%. And the fifth band that will be applicable to employees earning incomes above 800,000 per month at the rate of 35%. In addition, starting next month, you are expected to pay more for fuel if parliaments adopts the zero budget proposals to increase the value added tax on petroleum products with the exemption of LPG from 8% to 16%. I propose to the National Assembly to amend the VAT Act to remove the preferential rate on the petroleum products so that the products will be subject to the standard VAT at 16%. Betting and gambling is another sector that has seen its excess duty increase from 7.5% to 12.5% with the firms required to submit their collections within 24 hours. To discourage participation in these activities by Kenyans and especially school-going children, I propose to the National Assembly to increase the rate of excise duty on betting, gaming, price competition and lotteries from the current 7.5% to 12.5%. Betting and alcohol advertisement will also be subjected to a 15% excess duty in a measure that the National Treasury says will reduce addiction. Tax on imported leather products and vegetables will attract 35% VAT. Protect these farmers from cheap imports. Kenya has allowed Kenya has been allowed to extend the import duty rate of 35% in addition to the specific import duty rates on vegetable products for a further one year. Benson Ruba reporting for Prime Edition.